Okay, Studebaker fans, look what I have found for you. This is a 1964 Studebaker Commander V8 station wagon. And I am in a little community just outside of Henderson, North Carolina. Uh, I've known about this car for a little while. My buddy, my buddy uh, told me about it. And uh, he said I could come over here and do this video. Now this car is a V8. It does not run. It's a, it's a project. And we're going to do a quick little walk around. Check out the roof line on that. Ain't that kind of cool how they did that? Yeah. Look at these old racing decals. Makes you wonder if this person might have went to some races back in the day. I don't see a tow hitch on it. We'll double check that. So you got a little rock down in the quarter panels and the uh, rockers and stuff. I don't know if you Studebaker folks, you can tell me uh, that was, if you can buy parts for these or not. Let me get up in here. Ugh. Look at that. This car came out of Missouri. Powell Motors, Missouri. Here it is in Henderson, North Carolina. Yeah, there is a little, some kind of a trailer hitch on it, looks like, right here. You got these tail lights, kind of Spartan looking, not real fancy, but they look, but they look cool though at the same time. Check that out. Let's walk on around here. I think this side here also. I looked at this car this past summer. It was for sale at that time, and I ended up passing on it for the reasons that the, the the rust and all here. And I just at that time I had some other stuff in the iron and. Uh, or well, the irons in the fire, I guess I should say, and decided not to, to get on this one. Uh, get you a look here, yeah. Safe inspection in Missouri. And that mirror, check that out. Alright, we're gonna open it up and have a look on the inside. It's kind of cold today, so you ain't got to worry about any any varmints, I don't guess. I have seen them in cold days, but they usually move slow. Thank goodness. That is a cool steering wheel. I like that. Oh, what do do? Let me get in here. Oh, this would be a fun. This would be a fun car to play with right here. It really would. A nice set of gauges. It's got a gas temp. Oil and amp, defrost, 120 speedo. Be a place to put a tack there if you wanted a hot rod. Toggle switches, some basic Spartan stuff here, nothing fancy. It's a cool little car right here, it really is. I don't like this. Oh, me. Could definitely have some fun with a car like this. Take this to the car so you'd be the only guy there with one. Probably be the only one they've seen. Check out the gas cap. I'll walk around, yeah, the rockers are shot on this thing. Mm. Yeah, I know you body guys said, eh, that's a piece of cake, that ain't nothing to it, but I'm not a body guy. Seat folds down. That's pretty neat how they did that. It is not a third row according to the owner, and I think that's pretty obvious. Oh, headliner is still up. It's dirty, but it's all still there. That's amazing. Yeah, nice little swap meet car. I like a, I like some of this little swap meet car. The drive there is, is probably decent on gas, and it's big enough where it's out to have some room to it. You fold the seat down, you buy all your parts, or sell all your parts, and head home. Okay, this. And the gentleman here, he's gonna open this hood for me. We're gonna show this detail on this headlight and grill in right quick. 64 Studebaker Commander. I wanna thank this gentleman for allowing me to, to video this car, by the way. Y'all be sure to thank him now. Okay, we've got the original looking engine here. That's a 259. 259 V8 is what I'm being told. I'm getting, the, I'm getting the nod of approval, so that's what this is. 
two bolts holding the valve covers now, folks, and you complain about your valve covers leaking. Can you imagine? I pulled a set off of a Poly 318 the other day out in a junkyard. There were two bolt valve covers. Look at that. Look at that alternator. Press the light. Can y'all read that? How about this? It's a small little sucker, too. Guess you don't need a whole lot for something like this. Was this a 12 volt car? Yeah. Okay, it is a 12 volt car. Okay. The motor does not run, but it's not locked up. Hood looks to be in pretty good shape. This is a very restorable car. I hate to see it sit like this. Hopefully somebody will get on this pretty quick. Okay, we got a manual steering. I don't see a power steering box. You know, something like this, guys, I'd have to leave it real close to stock. I wouldn't, a lot of guys want to put LS motors in them, that kind of thing. I couldn't do that to this. It's raining. Oh, crap. <laughs> it just started raining on us. See the water? Well, we're going to have to cut this video short, then I'll be doggone. I hate that. That is one cool looking car though, folks. I hope you enjoyed this. Please uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. There's a little bell notification. And what that's for, if you hit that, you click on that after you subscribe. And then that way you get notified whenever I post a new video. So subscribe, hit that like button, hit the bell notification. Comment. Say some nice things about this car. This is really a cool automobile. You don't see these every day. Okay, only again, thank the gentleman for allowing me to come out here and look at this car. He's got a couple more he's going to let us look at. And uh, it just quit raining, so hopefully it'll hold off in the rain. All right, folks, Bob's Classic Cars and Parts. I'm going to sign off here. Hope you enjoyed the video.